wandering around the Amsterdam dance event, and who do we run into but DJ Paul Sparks? Good to see you. So I've uh, I've seen that your your travel over the last few years has increased dramatically. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, it's going well at the moment. Lots and lots of gigs. Um, last weekend played in the states. I've been going to the states for a decade actually. Uh, Ten years over there. This last weekend I played Rise in Boston and Arts Arts Garage in uh, Philadelphia. Two really good sellout shows. Uh, this year I played in Helsinki, Russia twice, uh, Israel, UK. Did a couple of festivals over there. Um, just keeps rolling on. Sort of every year, really, so it's good. Well, we've known each other for a long time, and I know that you have, uh, you've been producing like mad over the last uh, year, I think primary focus in the last year. Tell us about that. Well, basically, production-wise, we have a whole sort of, um, sort of catalogue of tracks now waiting to go out, and it's about a case of finding the right labels. Um, I've got a double track coming on the Strom Recordings, which is James Nidica's label, okay. based here in Amsterdam. Um, Alter Image in New York, also Alter Image Recordings, they've also signed some stuff. Um, but a lot of it is just at the moment, just sending stuff out on promo, stuff out on CDs sure. to people, and just getting the feedback, and if people are interested, then, then they sign it. You so know? are you working with the labels? Are you introducing them to your nights at all, or in Amsterdam? Yeah, in, in a way, yeah. I mean, at the, at the moment, basically, it's just, um, you know, obviously booking uh, DJs and producers that, that fit in with my nights and what we're doing and hopefully, you know, building a relationship like that, yeah. Okay, and how are you feeling about the next five five or six years? What's your what's your plan? You've got a long-term plan? Well, if I don't go deaf, then, uh, yeah, I mean, if my if my ears hold up, then, yeah, we just keep going and going, but it's, you it's know, going You know, you get some free earplugs in the ADE welcome oh, right. pack there. You might want to start wearing those. Oh, I do use plugs. I use the filters.nl ones, which are pretty cool. Okay, so yeah. technology-wise, uh, when you're in the DJ booth, what are you using? What are you... Well, I decided not to go for the whole laptop, you know, track to scratch thing. I'm still on, obviously, you know, CDJs are everywhere, the 2000s. Um, we're moving to SD cards now. But I still, I'm kind of old school. I still like CDs. I still like having one track on a CD, one track on a disc, because it's like the vinyl days, mm -hmm. and it helps me sort of plan the sets better. But certainly with the travel, like the international gigs, you know, if you can have stuff either on the sticks or on the SD card, it makes it easier, yeah. Okay, and in terms of Amsterdam dance events, uh, have you got anything planned for this week? Yes, uh, Thursday night we have a floor play ADE special. Um, we've got uh, three DJs coming in. Um, we've got Gavin Mitchell from Ministry of Sound. He's going to headline it along with Roberto Rodriguez um, from uh, Serenades uh, Records out of Finland. He's arriving about now at the airport. And uh, who else do we have? Ricky Ryan from Argentina. It's a last minute uh, special guest. So it's going to be good. And plans for next year? I haven't thought that far ahead, really, to be <laughs> honest. I mean, I hope, I don't know, this year's been really good, so I hope we sort of repeat some of the bookings. I tell you um, what, let's do in. this. Let's do this. Let's have a hug and let's go for a beer. Yeah, let's yeah. do that. Should that sounds that? good. All right, let's, let's do, do that. that. Oh. Good.